Hi guys, Abby from the Type B SLP here. I wanted to give you a really quick run through of how to edit and use my add-on to my Quick Prep Book Companions for fall. I really tried to give this um, like an overhaul so that you could use it during teletherapy. I wanna show you how you can use it with parents um, just to kind of make it easier for this kind of teletherapy life that we're all living right now. So. What you're going to do when you get it, you're going to click this button um, to have access to the bonus digital companions. The rest of the document is still the exact same. It's all my book companions. Um, but in order to get the digital version on Google, you're going to click that button. Now, when you click the button, it's going to take you to this page and it's going to ask you if you want to make a copy. And you are going to want to make a copy because now this is like your own um, document that you'll have in your Google Drive. So I'm going to click make a copy and then we'll give that a second to load. And now you're going to have the entire document in Google Slides. So a couple things with this, um, because this is a product that I sell, I can't actually uh, just put the videos in here for you because I don't own the videos but I'm gonna show you how you can really, really easily put them in yourself. So honestly, that's what you're gonna to wanna to do first and foremost, you're gonna to wanna to put the video is, videos in. So this is super simple. So let's go down to the first book. So I added a couple of books for back to school. So this book is Time for School Mouse. I really love this one for my little guys to introduce um, school vocabulary to them, some things that they may not recognize, but then probably some things that are familiar to them. And each slide has this box here um, to give you guys just kind of a simple written direction. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go into insert when you get to the slide for the book. You're gonna click insert and then you're gonna click video. As soon as video comes up, it's gonna be this YouTube link here. And all you have to do is search that book. Um, for each one, you're just going to quickly search the book. So like I had said, this book is called Time for School Mouse. So I'm going to do that again, insert video. Now in here, I'm just going to type in Time for School Mouse. Then I'm going to click search. And I kind of like to pick one that I can tell that it's mostly the picture of the story right in the video in case I want to do the reading myself. So let's try this one. I'm going to select that first one. I'm going to click select and it's going to jump into that slide. It's not really where I want it to be. So I'm going to pull it up and you can completely drag. I've put the box in there for you um, if you want to line it up with that. Over here, you can get a preview of what the video is going to look like. So like I said, I do like videos that I could actually um, pause and just read myself because then I can go at my own pace. I can stop and ask questions, um, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So let me show you one more time with this one. So I'm really liking this book um, for my little guys that are just starting to learn the rules um, in the classroom. So again, I've got hands are not for hitting. I'm going to go into insert video. Now I'm going to clear this and do hands are not for hitting. I'm going to search. And again, I'm going to try to choose one that takes up most of the um, image so that I kind of can tell, okay, it looks like I might be able to read this one. So let's select that one. Again, I'm going to have to drag it up and I put those boxes in there so that you guys could align it just to kind of make it look neat. Um, so there's that. So now let me show you when you are actually in your sessions with your kiddos, how you're going to want to use this. So this is like kind of distracting to me. Like if I pull this up with my kids, I think they'd be really distracted by everything going around. I mean, I can exit out of this, but I still feel like they can see too much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back up to the first page here and I'm going to click present. And now all the links that I have put in this document are gonna work for you so that when you click them, it will take you to those different um, themes and books. So we just did some for fall. So I'm gonna click on the fall iPad. And now I've got my little 
reading nook. So I call it a little reading corner and um, here is how you know which theme that you're in to make sure you're in the correct one. You can go back home. Um, so then you'll jump home, but then you can go back into fall. So um, under fall, I've got a bunch of books under the generic fall theme. So you just saw me fill in the time for school mouse book and you saw me fill in hands are not for hitting. So now all I have to do when I'm in the session is just click this. And just like that, it's going to take me to that page with a video and those visuals there. What I like to do when we're telling the story, I like to use the annotate tool on Zoom. That's what I'm on right now is Zoom. Um, so I might use like the highlight and talk about, you know, who is the story about? It's going to be about mouse. Uh, where do we think mouse is going? If we look at the cover of the story, where does it look like he might be? What's he doing? Um, you know, all those types of things. And then I can also use the highlight with annotate um, zoom feature and I can highlight as I go through the story, we can highlight the different things that we see. Um, you know, we can highlight or check off even as we see those things. Um, you know, I personally with my little guys I like to keep control of the screen so this just kind of makes it a little bit more flexible um, you know mom and dad are typically there one or the other and and they'll kind of help as well they'll help facilitate that um, if I want to ask questions what I can do is leave them different colors so let's say I ask something like what did mouse see first what did mouse find first? And I've got red, yellow, and green. And maybe they don't know to tell me lunchbox, but maybe they can point to this color and mom can tell me, yep, red. Or they could, if they know their colors, I have a couple little ones that are pretty good with their colors, they can tell me red. Um, so just another way to kind of adapt that. But what I really tried to do was keep these um, images pretty simple because I really just want them to be kind of like an enhancement for my kiddos that are working at very basic level vocabulary and very basic level WH questions. There are sentence strips in there because majority of them are still working on formulating correct sentences, increasing MLU. Um, so that is why those are all in there. Let me just show you a couple more. So I'm going to go home. And let's go back into fall and then I don't have all the videos plugged in, but let's go to, we're going on a leaf hunt. So for this one, I've got some core vocab here, like go and come. So during this book, I really like to really drill those. So go and come and, and usually when I use that, we'll do another activity that the student has to be using that core vocab, um, especially go, I love this book for go. So we've got all the different areas. We can work on that vocab. And then even has some of um, the prepositions, well, actually all the prepositions, but um, all the visuals with them, which really helps my kids. Um, so that's just another favorite book that I like. So let me show you if we went into like Thanksgiving. Um, again, you've got all the different books here. So we've got some that are story maps. So these are great for vocab. Um, Halloween, we've got Let's see, how about we do 10 timid ghosts? This one's really fun. So I put the 10 ghosts there. I put numbers in here. A lot of my kids are still working and counting. We can count the ghosts. Um, with the annotate tool, again, we can check off, which I'm definitely gonna be using this um, stamp tool for. So we could say, okay, we got that ghost. He's gone, now he's gone and he's gone. So just another really super simple, but fun and engaging way to get them involved in this story. So let me just get out of here. So again, this is in present mode. Um, so we just wanna remember that, that we are in present mode. So you just hit escape to get out of present mode and it's gonna go back to your PowerPoint. Those X's are on there because I did not clear them out. <laughs> so let me do that. Okay, so um, now we're back in just the regular PowerPoint mode. I wanna show you one other thing. Once you have put these um, videos in here, so let's say, you know, you put in, why don't we do old lady who's not afraid of anything? So we'll go insert video, uh, the old lady who, of course I picked the longest title, who is not afraid of anything. I'm going to search for that book. Just give it a second. And that's going to show that one. That's one of the ones I often use. 
um, because I can pause it and use it. So I'm gonna space that. So now let's say we want to um, give this, just this page to a parent. So what you can do, you can make um, copies of this file. So I would go, excuse me, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go back into my drive and what I wanna do is copy this. So I'm gonna do, I'm sorry, I didn't even have to go out of my drive. It's actually right in here. So it's under file, it took me a second. And I'm gonna do make a copy and you can do selected slides. So let's go down to that Halloween one and that's gonna be down here. So let's say this is the one I'm gonna be doing and that's actually a fall book, there we go. So let's say this is the one I wanna to send to a parent. So I'm gonna go file, make a copy and I'm gonna do selected slides and this is slide six. Okay, so I'm gonna do, yep, just like that. And I'm gonna click okay. And now it's gonna make its own copy. So we'll give that a second. And now I have just this. I've got the visuals. I have the story embedded here. And now I can share this with parents. Please do not share this with other SLPs. Um, if you feel like it's something another SLP would like, they can purchase it. Um, but please don't share the Google files with any other SLP. That's against my terms of use and that's really against my copyright. So, um, you know, I, I would prefer that um, this is only shared with parents that you want them to be able to use this with their own students with. Um, so now you can share and you can send this to the parent. You can rename it. So you could say, um, Bobby fall book and you could put you know like the, the week that you're going to be using it and then you can share that with parents and say review this with Bobby you know before I see you guys next week um, and now he's getting some exposure to the vocabulary and some exposure to the story um, and when you start next week it's not going to be so unfamiliar you could also just do it as a review for him as well you could send it and say hey we read this today Please review it, um, you know, one more time before we meet again. So that's just a really easy way to be able to use these with parents um, because that was a question I got from the spring set was how can I share these with parents? So I just wanted to show you that. But again, please only share with parents. Um, I am able to track copies and I am able to track um, open links. Um, so just be mindful of that because I am able to kind of see where um, this file is going. So I think that is kind of all I want to show you. Oh, I had one other thing. So um, when you are in present mode and you click, let's say we want Thanksgiving books. Now, if you look down here, when this bar goes away, you have visuals for core board and you have visuals for retail. Um, so let me show you when you click on that, it's going to go for retail into three different levels. We have level one, which is my five finger retail that I like to use with my really little guys. So we've got setting, characters, beginning, middle, end. Um, and I like to kind of um, reinforce this so that I can start, you know, by mid-year, just kind of holding my hand up. And we'll talk about, okay, what was that setting, remember, and characters. And this is, you know, the visual that I want them picturing as we are learning those types of things, especially my um, kindergartners. But there are different levels that I've put in here. So for level two, we have, um, settings, characters, and then first, next, last. So we, we're reinforcing that vocabulary that they really need to start knowing in kindergarten and first grade, first, next, last. Um, this is uh, typable, so you can go in here and type. You just can't do it in present mode. So let's say I wanted to use this with a kiddo. I would open it like this, and you can drag down these notes to make it a little bit um, bigger. And now you just double tap here and you guys can type in. So you could have the student tell you the setting, the characters first, next, last in their own words, and then you guys can kind of combine it together or however you wanna do it. Um, there's also a 
level three, and that is a setting characters problem, um, all the events, so beginning, middle, and end, and then the solution. So that's for those a little bit higher level learners and those little bit more um, complex stories for that one. The last thing I included in here that you can click to get to is the story core board. Um, so this is just something that I may, um, that I may present and do like a dual share screen so that they can see the book and then maybe I'm reinforcing stop. Um, maybe I'm reinforcing good. Maybe we're reinforcing just yes and no. And so this is just something I can display as we are reading. Um, so that was just kind of a little extra bonus I wanted you to have because it's something that I benefit with. Um, having like in there, we use that one a lot for if we like the book or if we did not like the book. Um, do you want me to keep playing the book? You know, those types of things. So. I just want to make sure you guys had that in there as well. And again, those home buttons will take you back to the beginning so that again, you can just click through. Um, so that's a little bit easier to maneuver throughout the entire document. So I hope this was helpful. If you ever have any questions about how to edit or how to change things, how to copy, please do not hesitate to reach out to me via email or Instagram. Um, my email is abby at the type eslp.com. I am always here to help. So just let me know and I hope this was helpful. All right, thanks, bye.